What's up guys, it's Derek from the Rocky Mountain Outdoorsman here today. I'm gonna go through my favorite spring, spring and fall tactics and baits. Let's start out with hard, hard baits. Got my ultralight shad in the trout. Because a lot of lakes around us have trout. Um, let's go with jerk baits next. A little big for bass around here, but these are just my pike and big bass. If we go to some smaller ones. Um, oh, yes. And the X wrap. Got this guy. And this shad color. And another one tied up. Oh, here's another jerk bait. Uh, we'll go through those later. Um, soft plastics. Finesse. Like to go Ned Rig. Some jig style. More finesse. Baits. I've got a wide assortment of soft plastics. Just showing you what I've got with hooks in them. Mainly got my mini Sanko for my pond or for ponds. A little black jerk shad. I think that's black. Maybe red. Got my walleye assassin. Um, just in case. Need to kill some walleye with it. Sankos got wacky rigged. Got my Nico rig Sanko. Um, straight tail worm on Texas rig. Even works well on Carolina rigged. Oh, this is a trick worm actually. Excuse me. Just got a straight tail on a shaky head. You then oh, here's another soft plastic. Got a brush hog on a jig head. Either rig at Texas. I'll talk about rigging later. Uh, another Sanko. Now let's go into my next favorites. Chatter baits. Got white and chartreuse. That's a white and chartreuse rage blade. Got a brown or a green pumpkin and whatever I believe this is brown. Could be green pumpkin. I uh, got my naked rage. Never know when that comes in handy. Now I got my black and blue Z Man with a twister tail. I just didn't have anything to throw on the back. I don't like throwing them without trailers. I got white Z-Man with the white uh, paddle tail. I got two mini for my pond for the ponds. I got two mini Z-Mans. One silver, one's gold. I haven't really caught anything. Alright, let's go over some other stuff. Where's that other bag? Alright, go over colors. Um, here in Colorado, caught a lot on baby bass, strike king, shimmy sticks. Caught them on green pumpkin with black and gold flake. I've got some, what are these? Oh, these are cinnamon blue. I got some weird colors. Got some of these, green and light green, lime green. Got some of those. Baby bass, um, green pumpkin. 
these are just the main colors we use. I got a an organizational tip. All my Sankos go in a in one bag. All together in one bag. Since I'm not a boat fisherman, I can't just throw it in my boat. So I put them in a plastic bag with Sanko on it. Can't put them in their own box. Zip them up tight. Get all the air to conserve space. Then I throw it in a gallon bag. Um, next. I've got lizards. All different all basically same colors. Some have a little more silver, gold, sparkle, black. Um got your flukes, normal flukes, got some ribbon tails, baby brush hogs, definitely. Uh more straight tail worms. And all different types of swim baits. Got it in white, white, brown, these are my main colors that I have. Got white and your green pumpkin. Got a white with a crystal flash. And I got these. I'm not sure the exact colors of them, but Buddy gave them to me. Those are basically all the soft plastics I use in the spring and fall for getting bass. Alrighty, let me scoot this closer. Alright, let's go over rigging. You can rig a Sanko many different ways. Texas, Wacky, and then you can also go Nico rig. Nico rig, you either take um, one of your little swim bait keeps, the screw lock things that go on the end of your hooks to or your bait keep screws. You can either do screws or the nail weights. I just had screw weights. And you screw it into the fat end. And when it goes down, it's like you've got a Texas rigged with a peg weight. Falls kind of like this. Sits and then it shimmies down. It's more of a finesse technique. A straight tail, I've got this in pink. And I've got it in this purple color. Very good for bass out here in Colorado. Now my trick worm, I can either throw it on there or I can do pegged Texas weight. Throw this Texas rigged or nose hooked with a Sanko hook. Once my Sankos get ripped and I can get them, I just cut them in half, throw them on a moon head or something like that just some sort of finesse head throw this on it these on jig heads or texas rigged or nose hooked this is basically a fluke without the split tail brush hogs throw them texas carolina weighted texas weightless love dragging them all right these guys I Texas rig with either a swim bait hook or a normal EWG 3 odd, I believe is what I ha I mainly use here. Um Oh yes, another rig for Sankos. Ow. Can use these hooks for them. The paint's kind of peeling on this one, but uh, it's just basically a weighted 
wacky rig hook. I like to keep a lot of my hooks and stuff in pill bottles labeled with either Sharpie on straight on the bottle with tape over it so it doesn't rub off or medical tape athletic tape basically but um kind of gets kind of gross after a while and looking in a dark bucket it just looks like a white label but these are my only two bottles I taped and I know exactly which one they are I got my back my bass hooks Texas for Texas rigging I got EWGs and normals and J's Senko hooks right there there's tons of different ones got a few octopus hooks and some J hooks got my trocar bass hooks as well as EWGs I think they're three aught hooks but those are just an inside on what I like to throw I like to kind of keep it small and compact so I usually throw all my soft plastics in a bag label the bag and then throw all of the bags soft plastics into a one gallon bag try and get them all compressed down and when I need something I just go in there oh I need swim baits let me dig oh here they are it's easy organizational tip for your trebles you throw a bunch of trebles in your box they're all gonna get hooked together you need one you gotta try and undo them but with these rubber bands nothing you're not hooking any of your your baits together really you could put them in a big jar shake it up and you wouldn't really have to do much to unhook them beads for weighted texas rig in carolina these rubber bands are just rubber bands i had for my braces I like to keep everything in their own pill bottle these work if you're you tie leaders for carolina rigs and you don't want to have to just cut the hook off and retie. You can just take it off the swivel and put it in a pill bottle and you're golden. Alright, so that's it for today's video. I'll see you guys next week.